Hello everyone, my name is Atish and topic of this learning video is Weibull distribution. Okay, so before we start with the definition of Weibull distribution, I would suggest you to go and study the continuous random variable and mathematical expectation. These two definitions are essential to learn Weibull distribution. Okay, and in this learning video, we are going to take a definition of Weibull distribution first and then an example based on the property of Weibull distribution. Okay, so let us start with the definition. So what is Weibull distribution? A continuous random variable we denote it by x is said to be is said to be Weibull Weibull distributed variable distributed with with parameters with parameters alpha beta both positive non negative and positive if if its density function if its density function is f of x is equal to alpha beta into x power beta minus 1 into e to the power minus alpha into x power beta this is for x greater than 0 and for x less than 0 we have less than equal to 0 we have 0 so this is nothing but the definition of variable distribution uh, this you have to remember in order to solve the example okay before we proceed to the example let me uh, make one remark and that remark is about the parameters alpha and beta if i put beta is equal to 1 and alpha as it is then this variable distribution is converted to exponential distribution that is the second topic that we are going to take in this learning videos okay so so let us take an example to work out with so this type of example will be asked in the examination so the example says define variable distribution find its mean and variance okay so whether it is a stated in the examination or not you have to write down the definition of variable distribution okay so this is nothing but the definition of variable distribution you have to repeat once again and then start with the mean so what is mean we know that mean which we denoted by mu is nothing but expectation of x and one can define expectation of x for the continuous random variable x and it is given by integration minus infinity to infinity if it is x write x into f of x dx where what is f of x f of x is this okay now looking at the function given in the definition we have some value for x greater than 0 and for equal to 0 and uh, less than 0 we have the functional value 0 so I will write this integral from 0 to infinity x and for 0 to infinity that is for x greater than 0 we have functional value this so just write it down alpha beta into x power beta minus 1 into e to the power minus alpha x to the power beta dx this is from the definition of variable distribution okay now to solve this integral it is a little bit difficult to solve so i will make use of substitution to get my required result okay so put put alpha x power beta is equal to t okay if this therefore what is x x is equal to or you can write x power beta is equal to t by alpha that is what is x x is equal to t by alpha power 1 by beta 
okay so this is x so what is dx so just apply differentiation of this alpha as it is differentiation of x to the power beta is beta x to the power beta minus 1 dx is equal to dt okay now we are switching from variable x to another variable t so these are the limits of x so let us find out the limit of t therefore when when x is equal to 0 and when x tends to infinity when x is equal to 0 substitute x is equal to 0 what you get 0 into alpha 0 so t is equal to 0 when x tends to infinity t tends to infinity okay so in other words we can say that the limits are unchanged okay therefore what is my expectation mu mean mu is equal to what is it limits as it is integration 0 to infinity in place of x we have t by alpha power 1 by beta into what is next alpha beta these are just constant so I will write beta as it is and alpha x to the power beta okay okay wait wait so this is in place of x i have put in t by alpha power 1 by beta in place of alpha beta x to the power beta minus 1 dx i can substitute dt and what is remaining e to the power e to the power minus what is alpha x power beta t okay now I will write this alpha power 1 by beta this is integration 0 to infinity alpha power minus 1 by beta into e to the power minus t into t to the power 1 by beta d t and one adjustment plus 1 minus 1 okay so this mean mean mu is equal to alpha power minus 1 by beta into integration 0 to infinity e to the power minus t into t to the power 1 by beta plus 1 minus 1 dt okay now I will make use of the definition of gamma function so this is alpha power minus 1 by beta and this is nothing but gamma 1 by beta gamma function of 1 by beta plus 1. So here you can just write integration 0 to infinity e to the power minus t into t to the power n minus 1 is e dt is equal to gamma n. So this is the definition of gamma function that we are using okay so this is nothing but the mean of mean for the variable distribution so now we will find out uh, the variance so by the definition of variance we know that what we know we know that expectation sorry variance of x is nothing but expectation of x square minus expectation of x whole square okay so expectation of x is nothing but mu that we have already found out so what we need to find we just need to find expectation of x square so let us find out expectation of x square so what is expectation of x square if it is expectation of x we write x into this thing if it is expectation of x square we'll write the same thing instead of x it is x square so expectation of x square is nothing but integration from minus infinity to infinity x square into f of x dx okay 
again from the definition we have these values so just put it those value x square into f of x is alpha beta x to the power beta minus 1 into e to the power minus alpha x power beta dx now what we will do is will make the same substitution same substitution will be there same limits and will make use of these substitution to find out expectation of x square so when you find out the expectation of x square what you will be getting integration 0 to infinity expectation of sorry x square what is x square x square is t by alpha power 1 by beta power 2 so it is 2 by beta alpha x beta power minus 1 dx is dt and e to the power minus alpha x so minus alpha x to the power beta is t so this is what we are getting okay so this is nothing but expectation of x square i will take out the constant outside so this is alpha power minus 2 by beta integration 0 to infinity e to the power minus t into t to the power 2 by beta dt again i will plus and minus 1 in order to use the definition of gamma function okay so this is nothing but alpha power 2 by beta using the definition of gamma function this this can be written as yes gamma what one can write gamma 2 by beta plus 1 okay so this is expectation of x square as you know we are not interested in finding out expectation of x square we are interested in getting variance of x so substituting these values in 1 therefore 1 imply variance of x is nothing but what is expectation of x square expectation of x square is this alpha power minus 2 by beta gamma 2 by beta plus 1 minus what is expectation of x whole square we have found expectation of x means mean mean is same as expectation so what is it this square so this is alpha power minus 2 by beta into gamma 1 by beta plus 1 whole square okay so as you can see what is common in this alpha power minus 2 by beta is common and we remain with and we remain with gamma 2 by beta plus 1 minus gamma 1 by beta plus 1 whole square so this is nothing but the variance of x so this is expectation or mean in the Weibull distribution and this is what we got in uh, Weibull distribution the variance okay so thank you for watching this learning video